Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Dark Family Hour. My name is Selene Selene, and I'll be your charming ghost this evening. We're here in Petaluma at Smythe's Accordion Center, and it's right over there. Yeah, we're right in front of the shop. And I am so excited to share this shop with you. If you haven't seen it before, we've, we've tried to do a, a dark family hour here a while back and the internet kept dropping. Ha ha ha. So today we are doing it again. Yay. So if you can see the sign, uh, maybe you can't see the sign because of the lighting. But here is what the shop looks like. Uh, there's a nice awning. There's the address, no, probably backwards in the camera. 442. Uh, 442. Petaluma Boulevard North. And you should come on down sometime. Let's take a look inside and check out some accordions, hey? So, uh, yeah, get ready. All you accordion fans out there, brace yourselves. We are now inside the shop. Oh my goodness. Just surrounded, surrounded by musical instruments. What a treat. What a treat. Um, I get to play, I get to play any accordion that I, I desire here in the shop. So uh, let's, let's see what's over this way, huh? Let's, let's take a look. There was one I was really checking out. Uh, maybe I can take you with me. We can uh, check these out together. So there are, there are, there's a really pretty, uh, kind of a blue one here. And I was playing that earlier. And this Scandali is really cool. It's a chromatic accordion. It's all buttons. Um, let's pick it up and see what happens. Okay. So I'm not a chromatic accordion player, but it does make a sound and I can uh, chop, chop something out for you. So we'll mildly take this Scandali off the shelf and check this out. Look at all those cool valves. And those go up and down. I think they're called valves. Valves? Well, let's call them valves. Why not? Let's call them valves today. There are other valves and reeds inside of these things. I've been here, I've been here working all day, talking to customers, answering the phone. Oh, there's not a back strap. Well, that's just gonna have to do. So these things open and close. When you take that shifter and do a little shift, Give it a little shift. So, uh, you know, the left side is just set up like mine. And we try to find some notes. We're gonna make some sound. I want a 
are the black keys. And the black keys, the, the black ones, are like the black keys on a piano. is over here on the shelf. We got a lot of stuff here behind me. So I'm going to put this back up on the shelf very gently. Gently, gently, please. And uh, let's see what else there is. Well, I'm looking at a unique accordion right here, folks. Uh, this one is pretty unique. Oh, it's another chromatic. Well, it's green. <laughs> So it's green. Uh, let's hear what this one sounds like. Uh oh, we want we don't want that to happen. Gotta be really careful. Careful with the instruments. The the instruments that are all for sale. You want to buy an accordion? Come on down to Smice Accordion Center. We'll be open tomorrow noon. noon. o'clock and the clock strikes six the band-aid accordion because it kind of reminds me of a band-aid but it's kind of like it's kind of like it's got these little speckles on it and it's beige you don't see accordions like this every day now this here is a piano accordion and when you pick up the, look at the side of this thing just check it out whoop it's got the little handy little snap there and a handy little snap right here and let's see what's so unique about this accordion. Hmm, well.
acted so friendly But I just don't know where I'm at Because I don't know if I'm going north or south or east or west or south. I don't know if I'm going in between for us. Okay, so this one um, we're going to put back now. So this one can be yours. It's a 1930s Italian 48 bass accordion with low, middle, middle reeds. Wet tuned, which means it's got the vibrato. It's got a one year warranty. It could be yours for $1,265. Come on down tomorrow from 12 to 6 and pick up Pick up your accordions. Let me put this back on the shelf, folks. Maybe we'll see what else is around here. Okay, so, well that was fun. Why don't we uh, go down this way a little bit? We're gonna just kind of like turn the camera. So I had a, a lady come in the shop today and, and she a really nice lady with a really cute little dog. And they took a look at this accordion, but she didn't buy it. She didn't buy it. She said she might come back and pick it up next week. So, but that's a maybe. You know, because some people, they, you know, they change their mind. This one, super cute, says Pietro. Pietro. And uh, it has this really fancy, schmancy little grill on it. Or, or here's the grill. So that's the grill. It's got red, nice red uh, inlay. Is that what it's called? Inlay? And these straps kind of go like this. You go, you got to kind of like pop them out just like that. You pop, them, you pop them out. They're not buttons. So let's see what this one sounds like. Ooh. Hmm. Um. Let's see what those bellows 
Christmas look. Oh yeah, that's what they look like. instruments this accordion can be yours it's a 1930s Italian student accordion completely restored comes with case and warranties only it could be yours for $895 so come on down tomorrow pick it up I'll be here from noon to six <laughs> if you're just tuning in I'm just letting you know I'm at 422 Petaluma North Boulevard, Smythe's Accordion Center in Petaluma. Yes, Petaluma, Petaluma. Okay, so well, while I'm out here in Petaluma, uh, you know, I've been I've been looking for Tom Waits. Has anyone seen? Has anyone seen Tom Waits? I've been looking for him. I know he's kind of you know around. That's what I hear. The man himself. Yes. He is he never calls back. He never texts. He never writes. You know, I don't know. I think I think he needs an accordion. So maybe we'll try to Okay, so this accordion is kind of like a red but kind of brown red. And um you know, it's 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 a let's tell you what it is before I play it. It's a 1970s Taza 60 bars middle middle, middle reeds completely tuned has a 1 year warranty with case can be yours for 8.95. Yeah. I got eight, You got a dollar? I need a new accordion. I need a new accordion. I need a new accordion. Um, <laughs> like I need a hole in my head. I have four at home. Once you start playing, you know they kind of they kind of you tend to collect them, right? <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I don't think I want to attempt to play anything too difficult. Um, but I do feel like I can play this song. I hope. The bats are in the belfry. The two.
with her love before and pledge her love before and it's such a sad old feeling and it's memories that I'm stealing Maybe a squeeze box. Maybe something really weird. Something I don't even know how to play. That's that's always fun to play. To play things that I don't even know how to play. Because you never know what's going to come out. Especially, you know, you should try it. If you don't know how to play something and then you try it, you you really never know what's going to come out, right? So... So I saw something really interesting up here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here and grab it. It looks to me like like a Cajun box, Cajun. So I'm gonna get me something very stable to stand to stand on. Yes, a chair. And we're gonna go up top here. We're just gonna pull this Cajun box down. And, you know, Zydeco, if you want to place some Zydeco proper on a real Cajun box. So, in case you were wondering, this is what a true Cajun accordion looks like. 
Um, so it has these valves that change the sound. We will demonstrate that. They come out and they pull, they push in. So those are fun. It has these really fancy reeds that come up when you push, push the buttons. And the base side only has two, two buttons because they're in a specific key. So this specific Cajun box, it's a honer and it is tuned for better performance with new bellows and it has a it comes with a case it can be yours folks for $795 okay so we're going to try to to get this on proper it's so tiny it's just a little cajun box right and it even has a cool little a uh, thumb strap here. You put your thumb in there so it doesn't fall out so you can really, really get crazy. Crazy on it. Now, there's something else. Oh, and the little snap is right there. Boom. All right. Oh, and there's one on the back, too. Isn't that nice? So we're going to unsnap that. And we're going to hear what a case sounds like. Another one. They're getting higher and higher. study the instrument and uh, can really get into the uh, the uh, Cajun scene. Okay, well that was fun. Um, well, let's put this baby back up on the shelf. Take one more. Feast your eyes on that one more time. What a beauty, huh? I say, I'll say. Okay, so I hope everybody's having a wonderful night. I'm going to get that uh, chair again. <laughs> yes, there's a bunch of accordions behind me, folks. Okay. So on this very fine Friday night, it's 
surrounded by accordions at the dark family hour. Ooh, I need to take a little, little water break here. Yes, I got some water. Woo! Mm. And you can feast your eyes on the shop while I'm at it. <laughs> oh, that was a pleasant sound. Okay. So there is a Creole and Crawfish Community Gathering, May 11th, 2024, from 12 to 6 p.m. I'm looking at the poster right here. A music, dance, family, friendly, Creole, Creole, crawfish.com food and music and that is in Roner Park California so that's in Cotati Roner Park oh Somo Village event Somo Village event center so if anybody's interested in uh, checking out checking out that festival on May 11th um, you're gonna get some real Creole music okay folks Wow so, let's see what else we got here <laughs> behind me as I, I take a nice swig of this water. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's let's go over this way. We're going to see what's over here. What's going on? My my little thingy is getting wiggly. Okay, so here we have the case, the case, the case of fun. It's a, <laughs> this is where all the concertinas are. It's right, o right over here. So we have all these, all these concertinas. <gasps> it's like opening up a treasure chest. Opening up a treasure chest. And this one is really cool. And I think I might have one day Kimrick restore this for me um, but you know maybe or it can be yours it's a Chemnitzer I hope I said that right Chemnitzer it's in very good condition it's tuned for $550 that's a great deal uh, now if I had it restored I think it could be tuned like uh, the concertina that I play <laughs> It has a nice big button for air release. Bye. 
this thing do? Oh, it can do that too. Oh, oh that comes the bear. lovely accordion. Uh, it's a concertina. I'm trying to find it. Is it this one? I think it's this one right here. If I'm, no, it's the Jack. Yes. So this is a very cool concertina. You know why I know it's a cool concertina? Because I used to own it. And it's, um, I, the reason I got rid of it, honestly, is because I, I play an Anglo concertina. And this is an English concertina. So this one, not only is it the same note in and out, unlike my other concertina, it's the same note in and out, but it's also, it has such an amazing tone. And the reason I originally bought this was because of the tone. It has very low tone. And it's, it is on... Uh, commission. Is that the word? It's on consignment. So um, if you want this, it could be yours for $4.75 tomorrow. And that would help me get some money because I actually, <laughs> well, this would, a bunch of this would go to Selene, Miss Selene Selene. Because, but anyways, let's demonstrate this accordion. And it's really, really cool. So, um, but uh, it's kind of set up. So if you ever played an English concertina before, I think it's kind of like uh, set up like kind of like um, a lattice crust, kind of like the notes go in and out like that. And it goes back and forth from left to right. But can we get, put these special reads in? And that's what I like. It goes so low. That's why it's it's the jack. There's the Jackie, which has higher notes, but this is the Jack. So. And as you can see, I'm a little clumsy on this one because uh, I don't practice it. There we go. I used to play the scale so it goes back and forth. One note on this side, one note on this side. There we go. So, and, and I promise you, if you practice it, you'll get really good. So, how low can you go? Again, it goes back and forth. So left side, 
Left side. No, that's the right side. There we go. It's left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right. Goes back and forth. So the whole scale goes left, left, right, left, right. And you can play in 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 a lot of keys too on this thing. So um as you can see, that's why I got rid of it because it's it's not the instrument for me, but it's really really cool. You can play all kinds of stuff if Okay, so that's my demonstration. It's really fun. Come check it out, folks. It can be yours. It's in really good condition because, like I said, I, I hardly played it. I own, I had at one point three, three concertinas, and I don't need three concertinas, and I have four accordions, and I don't need four accordions. So, the, uh... The instrument that I know well is this, and this is the uh, Anglo concertina. So this one, you can see because I've practiced quite a bit on this one, <laughs> that I am quite fluid in it. So uh, let's let's play a song. <laughs> I practice, so <laughs> that's why I'm pretty good at that one. Popped by the sailor man. I'm popped by the sailor man. I'm strong to the finish. Glitch, I me finish. I'm popped by the sailor man. I am a true 
You could start off with a 20 row, but then you won't have the sharps and flats, so you're limited. This could be yours for $465 with soft case and a warranty. So come by tomorrow to Smice Accordion Center and pick up your concertinas and accordions and back straps. I'm going to gently put this back up on the shelf. Okay. We also sell melodicas. So let's go see the melodicas. I, I won't play it though, because I don't have one of those little mouthpieces unless there's some in here. And harmonicas. Harmonicas too. So in this case, and I'm gonna open up this case. Hi, okay. So we have some really, really, really beautiful melodicas. So there's this one. This is a fancy one. There's some really fancy ones in there, too. And there's some bigger ones, too. So, but it's not so much fun if I can't demonstrate. Oh, I see the pipe to demonstrate. Okay, so this mouthpiece, is that the demonstration piece? I certainly don't want to be sharing mouthpieces with people, but we're going to try it. Okay, I'm going to see if it works. That was my demonstration. I don't know, I feel kind of gross trying to trying to share this. This should be changed out. Yes, we don't want to share these things because of germs. And we have uh, we have some folk master uh, harmonicas. Harmo can you see the harmonicas? We got harmonicas. This one is in B flat. B flat. We've got uh, we've got lots of B flats. And we have C too. And um, Anyways, I you know, I, I'm not going to play a harmonica because I, I don't really play harmonica, but I do play accordion, and we're going to show off a couple more accordions because we're getting close to the end of the show here. I know, it's sad. Soon we're going to have to go and be on our merry little way. We're almost done, but don't cry because we'll be back again next week, okay? Um, so, let's take a look at what was my favorite accordion here. 
that I was playing. Oh, yes, here it is. Maybe you guys can't see me in that camera. And this, this accordion is awesome. It's a Titano. It's probably bigger than me. <laughs> it's giant. There's actually a really nice honer in a box over there, too, that I was playing earlier. That's really awesome. And I didn't even crack the iceberg of what other instruments are here. We even have button boxes. So... <sighs> turn it off and on. It says off and on. Well, it's not electric, I guarantee. So off and on has to do with some kind of sound. Maybe the mute. Maybe it has a mute. Um, oh, that's off. And so we, how do we turn it on? Come on down and get your accordions because we got a lot of 
folks because I there is one more style here that I have not shown you yet so since the show started a little so you want to know about the cheap accordions okay yeah we do have cheap accordions too they're not all um, $5,000 this one the one I just played is $1,245, and it can be yours if you just come down to the shop. So we also have instruments like this. These are the Chinese models, okay? And of course, there's no price tag on it, but there's another one here that's a little bit bigger for $490, which means this one's probably even less than that. Um, so let's get out this one. This one is... The Chinese accordion you can have, and it's a piano accordion 12 bass. So we're getting, you know, more, more into the uh, economical price range here. And it has a nice bass, doesn't it? So I think that, you know, this might be good too for, for some, some of you um, economical folks. Let's see. Um... It has a really nice bass. because he restored it and this one can be yours for $545 with a case and it's a Russian instrument it's kind of brown and it has a really really cute little front front on it and this one of course is just like those chromatic accordions buttons buttons on both sides how many but let's see what it sounds like <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> we got buttons. We got so many buttons in the house. We got so many buttons, folks. Come on down and get your buttons. Here's please buttons. 
and it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24 base buttons. There's so many buttons on this. And of course, for the um, the uh, Tex-Mex family, we have um, this right here. And so, last, last but not least, you know, if you are a Tex-Mex musician, we will um, demonstrate one more, one more for the road. Now, these guys have some cool little back strap, don't they? This is, this is fancy, because the back strap, my friends, is built in, and it snaps in the back, just like that like <laughs> you gotta pull it ah you gotta really pull that back strap so you want to be careful too and it's probably best to sit down okay well actually it has a a buckle so i've unbuckled it instead of trying to unsnap it because that seems to be more uh what it's supposed to do and i think you can play these a little lower and it might not even have a left side because the traditionally Tex-Mex musicians don't use the left side because they have bass players. It's a different note, push and pull. around. It's miscellaneous at Venmo, M-I-S-S-S-A-L-A-N-E-O-U-S -S 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 at Venmo, okay? And uh, you can contact me if you want one. I have long sleeves for only $30, and these are the short sleeves, and they come in black and warm gray, and uh, I'm running low on these, but I also have other designs for $20. So hit me up. If